Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We continue our expansion into Wales. Um, we have almost taken all of Scotland except for Caitness and Moray Firth. Moray Firth is, of course, controlled by Sweden, um, who's currently looking like they're getting their asses kicked. So we may go after uh, both of those in the near future. But for now, we will continue our war that uh, is going on here. Uh, the only down other downside is that we do have this goddamn peasant revolt in Moray. Uh, I'd like to take care of that, but it's going to be a bit. It's going to be a bit, guys. Uh, I'd rather just win this war against uh, these guys and take take all of this as soon as possible. What do we got here? Titles lost on succession. I'm guessing this is because our nomination thing is still effed up. Who am I trying to nominate? I am trying to nominate my half-brother at this time. So, Valdemir is the one I have nominated. What about here? Um, so, you go away. We come back. There we go. One problem solved. Yeah, we will want to push... Um, am I Hrolfer? I am Hrolfer. Yeah, I want to push that, that... That claim in the relatively near future... I don't believe any of these claims are useful. Who's the claimant? Are you the claimant? Yeah, you're a courtier, you're a courtier, you're a courtier. I do have a de jure claim on Teviotodale, this place right here, um, which we'll probably want to press at some point as well, especially because of the queen. Oh, she's, she'll be old, too old by the time. I was going to say because she's a child, which makes her weaker, but she will be an adult by the time I finish my my uh, war down here it would be nice if this oh we're at speed one i was like why the fuck is this going so slow i keep forgetting um it's because when i play these games i play like i'll record two episodes of eu4 and then i'll record two episodes of of uh i don't really want to arrest this guy why do why do i have the ability to arrest him um it's because he's plotting something no, I lost the ability to arrest him. Anyway, I'll play like two episodes of EU4 and then I'll play two episodes of CK2 or whatever. When you play EU4, um, when you load up the game, it remembers the speed you saved it as. So when you start playing, it's just still going at you know speed 3 or speed 4 or whatever. Uh, that is not true for CK2. When you load up, it always reverts back to speed 1. Now, sometimes I remember before to start recording, before I start recording to change the speed. Um, but as you guys can tell, most of the time I don't. So, that's just a minor frustration that I have come to live with. I actually do have 5,000 dudes. That's cool, because I have a retinue of 1,000. Why do you not like me? Why don't you like me? You're my, like... I realize it's probably there's probably a whole bunch of reasons that will be enumerated here for me. Short reign, you want the uh, your earldom of Nordrear. Um, you're ambitious, you're zealous, you're cynical, you're an infidel. I'm an infidel in your point of view, but you're an infidel in my point of view. Stop raiding my shit! I'm kind of busy here sieging down there this shit, and you're busy up here raiding my shit, and that's going to affect my ability to make money, money that I near seriously need. Saga has eloped with a notorious mercenary Adam. What a horrible name for a mercenary. I mean, I know many Adams are cool guys, but I don't, I, none of them strike me as, uh, you know, rah, I'm a mercenary. Um, but maybe, maybe I am smoking the weed. Can't get a matrilineal marriage. Not really surprised by that. Um, but I can get a non aggression pact with them, which is good. Um, and then you need a focus. Haughty, playful, willful. Let's give you um, not a learning focus, a diplomacy focus. Even though that, that does fight against uh, the other one. My confessor, half is such an attractive woman. I've applied my ample charms. Yeah, give her a taste of what she's missing. Why not? You want to surrender? Sure, sure. I don't know why I said sure when I meant to say sure, but awesome. Why are we going to lose perforated here on succession? 
It's mine. I mean, I know I'm over my force limit. Let's uh, give you... No, I don't want to give you perfect a lot odd. Fine characters, men, not a ruler, my religion, my culture. Um, congratulations, Hjalmar. I'm going to give you perfidididididad. The council does not want me to give you perfidididididad. He likes me. He's okay with me. He doesn't like me. He also doesn't like me. So why don't you want to... What if I sent you a small gift? That would not do anything. What if I awarded you, um, Keeper of Swans? Would this allow me to, um, grant this guy a landed title? I'd like to, um, grant somebody a landed title. Hmm. Oh, Jarl Face likes me better. Cool. Does that give me a chance to um, get rid of this land? Because it would be... Oh, I can commission a runestone. I totally want to do that. Let it speak in memory of my dear departed father. So the next thing I want to do is try to get rid of this land. We're going to try one more time. Find characters. Men. Grant landed title. Perfilated dot dot. So you don't want to give it to me. You don't want to give it to me. By favor. Boom. Alright, so you owe me a favor. Sforker, you owe me a favor. Boom. Now can I give this guy some land? Beautiful. Elin needs an educational focus. How about we give you thrift? Sounds good. Meanwhile, we're slowly but surely marching northward. We're making face to like us, by the way, guys, so that we don't have to worry about succession in the future. I have a son. Um, he needs to be called Ice. Because um, nobody... Oh, I didn't realize that he was a, uh, a bastard. Well, Ice is a bastard. Um, I will acknowledge him as mine. In memory of Ragnar. God, this battle is going um, very well, actually. Again, stupid sliders not telling me what's happening. Confusing the holy hell out of me. Did we win the war? We won the war. Offer peace, enforce demands, now I have to execute this guy, everybody's cool with it, it may have given me some money, I wasn't really paying attention. Um, I do want to repay this loan, and I want to lower my military forces. Cool. Are we making money? We're making a little bit of money, we'll make a lot more money, um, make some more money once this goes away. I want to see how much money we start making when we get to December. Then I'm probably going to want to send out a raiding fleet. Okay, we're making a lot more money. Cool. Uh, the next thing I want to do before I do this... This is my son, Ragnar. He is my legitimate son. He's kind. Uh, making him patient... God, these are all so good. Um, ambitious is fantastic. I mean, ambitious, I think we all know Ambitious is one of the best traits. I, I know he's going to become angry at me. But I think he'll be awesome. I don't know why he's over there. Because he is my son. I don't get why he's in court here. Let's introduce the heir to the realm. Um, other news. Can I declare war on you? Uh, this would give, make me a truce breaker, which is not what I want to do. Okay. That's all good. Um, so he gains one learning. 
but I owe this guy a favor. Whatever, let's do it. Giving my son one extra learning is not bad, I would say. I do have a daughter. Can I marry you off? Arrange a uh, marriage? Sometimes I get confused to make sure this stuff's all working correctly. Arrange marriage. Um, daughter. Why are you with the Varangian Guard? Why is everyone at the fucking Varangian Guard? What the hell's going on? Why are half my children with the goddamn Varangian Guard? Okay, you're here. You're here. Come back to my goddamn court. God damn it. I don't get... I mean, I know what happened. My son went off to the Varangian Guard. I had some children. Um... And now those children are apparently in the court of the Varangian goddamn guard. Um, they should be in the court of the ice goddamn beast. Oh, good job. <laughs> Fantastic, you managed to piss somebody off. The petty kingdom of Moray can be usurped. Yes, it can. Do I really want to do that? You. Can I give you the, uh, the Jarldom of Nordrear? No. I cannot. He apparently became a mastermind theologian. Probably the worst, uh, trait he could have gotten. He has no father. Oh, yeah. Try to get that marshal, please. Let's get you that marshal, that sweet, sweet marshal. When does my truce expire, by the way? I saw that it told me uh, 1027. Oh, that is a long time away. Um, you, I think, have done everything I need you to do. So let's have you go fabricate claims on here. He became Midas Touched, which is good. It's too bad it's not my son. My son has a diplomatic focus, so he'll probably end up being diplomatic. Uh, we also had a pope die. His popiness has died. That is that is sad. There's disease spreading all throughout. Um, going what's going on here? All right, I got a daughter named Glod. She is also a bastard. I have a lot of bastards. This, uh, this crusade is doing something. That I can say authoritatively. The crusade is doing something. Congratulations, Hjalmar. You are now a steward. Collect some taxes for me. Scone. Yeah, you just got raided. That's why you're having bad times. Oh, sweet. I instantly got a claim on Powis. Um, my liege, loyal servants such as I deserve some recognition. No. No. Be pissed off. <laughs> I'm not giving you my shit. Alright. But we can declare war on this guy. God damn it. My bitches don't want to come with me. You don't own a favor to anybody. Um, let's buy a favor from you. Holy crap. I don't want to... I don't really want that. Alright. Um, new, new possibilities. <laughs> Whom else can I get a favor from? You. Buy favor. 80 gold, much better than 200 gold. I'm actually not going to declare this war right away. Um... The reason I'm waiting is because you want to get an alliance, which means I'll probably get pulled into a war. Um, it's because I don't have a ton of money. 
And so I'm basically just waiting for my money to recoup a little bit before... This is cool. That's interesting. Um, this greed does not become you. Shut up. You have lands. How goes this crusade? Poorly, as far as I can tell. I want to expand here, but I also want money. So that's why I'm waiting. There's a Galician revolt that is apparently in my own territory. Interesting. Declare war. All right. Uh, I have a decent amount of money now. We're going to get this war going. So let's buy a favor. Send. Then we will um, call in council support. Send. Then we will declare war. Claim powis. Galicia will come in on the war. That's fine. Send. Raise up my forces. Cool. I have an unlikely ally here, which is nice in the uh, these rebels. Rebel scum. Did uh, France come in on my war? Aren't you my ally? Didn't we just make an alliance? I, I'm, I'm so confused. Are you, I guess I can't call you in. Okay. I've learned something. I can't call him in for whatever reason. I also don't know what happened to uh, their army, but it looks like it's going this way for whatever reason. Chester is ruined by Chester. Okay, well, you're going to be one of my targets and my first uh, my first push into England. Why why do they always go to man? Like I'm trying to figure out why man is always the primary target of these uh, these guys. Every time it's like, "Hey, you want to uh, you want to fight?" and you're like, "Yeah, all right, I'll meet you at the Isle of Man." <laughs> I don't get. It. Don't get it. Also, that was my accent of something. We already crushed them. So, they wanted to meet at Man. We then crushed their army. Now we're going to go to Powis to crush them again. They're going somewhere else. You know where it's not going to be? Man. But yeah, this is... Uh, we're getting some good expansion going on now. Um, let's keep... No, let's just keep this information to myself. Two hundred sixty-five. We're still making ten G's a month. Wow, they they uh, recouped real quickly, and it looks like they're probably heading to Man. If I had to guess, um, I fulfilled my ambition. Groom an heir. He, of course, became an underhanded rogue. Horrible. Um. I actually did not read what that said at all, but the crusade has failed. Now I can call in King Julian of France, if I so desire. I don't think it's uh, necessary. I don't really want... Who's Bulby? Count of Galloway. So, Count of Galloway... Gets falsely convicted. I think Sforker is the real traitor. I need a new dude. Congratu it needs to be somebody that actually has some power. So congratulations, dude. You, um, you have won this. Now you're going to go study some tech for me here. Um, you aren't doing anything. Why aren't you doing anything? Proselytize. Well, first things first. Religion. So you're still fine now. Um, I want you to proselytize up here. Is this stick bag up here? He is. All right, yeah, so you should be proselytizing. Wait, why can't I have you proselytize up there? Proselytize. Apparently, you can't proselytize there. All right, well, then let's have you, uh, research. Um, let's have you re do some, some cultural spreading for now. Cool. Um, now we're going to end the episode, though. So, 
everything went really well, I think, on this episode. We got we basically started, we're ending this episode exactly where we started the episode. I'm currently in a war with uh, somebody in Wales. I am just one province south of where I was, or one county south of where I was before. Um, but our expansion of Wales continues. It is awesome. All is awesome. I'm, this is going really well. Soon, England will fall to us. But with that all being said, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.